Hello dear friends, this is Hello Hollywood. That means you're in for some exciting news. Let's get started. Tucker Carlson interviewed a man who claimed to be Kate Middleton's photo editor, but was actually just a prankster, which Tucker Carlson and his colleagues guessed, but not before talking to the guy on camera. Joshua Peters, a very popular social media prankster, sent Tucker's team an email claiming to be the man who edited the photo of Kate Middleton and her three children that went viral earlier this week. Tucker's team replied, and Peters got his partner in crime Archie Manners to stand in as the alleged photo editor who they named George. Archie was asked for proof of employment and the original photo he said he edited. Peters used some quick Photoshop tricks to create the necessary documentation, although not before adding in a couple ridiculous additions to the employment contract, like one clause about losing a limb for a failed probationary period, to see how closely Tucker's team was checking the provided docs, ultimately the duo was able to con their way into an interview with Tucker himself, one they secretly recorded. Watch. It seems like Tucker and Archie the Imposter had a wide-ranging conversation about the photo, a chat that clearly got Tucker super excited. Tucker's people apparently told Peters and his compatriot that the interview would air next week, although it looks like the Hun squad let them off the hook because they posted the video clearing the airwaves on Thursday. Sources with direct knowledge tell us that Tucker's team wasn't entirely convinced the story was real, but decided to record the interview anyway as they continue to research the story. Already an hour after the end of filming, someone recognized Archie as the famous prankster and realized that there would be no interview. It's a lesson in journalism, but by and large you can't blame the team for at least talking to the person who made that statement. Still, it seems like they might have pulled the wool over his eyes, if only temporarily. And frankly, it could have happened to anyone in the business. A good catch is almost a good prank. That's all dear friends. Share this video and leave your comments. Bye bye.